Hello everyone and welcome to Bombus Dentistry. In this video, we'll talk about a common viral infection of the oral cavity, which is called as acute herpetic gingivostomatitis. So, in this video, we'll talk about everything that you need to know about this particular condition. So, let's get started. Now, in this clinical picture, you can appreciate that this is the oral cavity, and you can see the lips gingiva and the teeth and the chin area now you can appreciate that there are certain vesicles which are present near the chin you can appreciate that you can also appreciate that there is an ulcer which is present over here you can also see that there is generalized gingivitis present over here gingiva is swollen and enlarged so this is basically acute herpetic gingivostomatitis which is an infection of the oral cavity now the causative agent for herpes infection is basically herpes simplex type 1 virus now acute herpetic gingivostomatitis is caused by herpes simplex type 1 virus or you can simply call it as hsv1 virus now this is a contagious condition it can infect individuals which are in near vicinities but if you talk about the age group which it infects it basically affects infants and children who are younger than six years of age so most of the patients who are affected by this condition they belong to this particular age group now there are certain systematic condition which actually increases the chances of developing this particular condition for example the most common predisposing factor is compromised immune system in this particular condition these patients are at more risk of developing acute herpetic gingival stomatitis now this condition is often experienced in patients who have recent episodes of, for example, pneumonia, meningitis, influenza, typhoid, infectious mononucleosis, and stress conditions. So these are particular conditions after which if patient experiences any one of these conditions, they do tend to develop acute herpetic gingival stomatitis. Now, let's talk about the clinical features of acute herpetic gingival stomatitis. In this clinical picture, you can appreciate that this is the oral cavity and you can see there are these ulcers which are present over here around the palate, tongue and you can also appreciate around the gingiva. So this is the most classical presentation of acute herpetic gingival stomatitis. But in the initial stages, you can appreciate that there are these spherical gray vesicles are present. It can be present on gingiva, oral mucosa, soft palate pharynx or tongue anywhere in the oral cavity these early gray vesicles can be present now after approximately 24 hours these vesicles they basically these vesicles you can see they basically rupture and they form ulcers and these ulcers which are grayish white in color so these basically ulcers develop and these ulcers are basically painful for the patient and the most characteristic feature about the ulcer is you can note there is gray central lesion and it's surrounded by red margin so it's basically a red halo which is created and this is a significant finding in patients who are suffering from acute herpetic gingival stomatitis further talking about the clinical features these patients generally have sores throughout the mouth and they have difficulty while they're eating and drinking because these ulcers they are very painful and small stimulus of either hot cold and specially spicy foods irritates these lesions therefore patients have difficulty eating and drinking now when these vesicles basically they rupture these rupture vesicles are very sensitive to for example if you will touch it or even thermal stimulus and it stays for a few days now usually these ulcers they resolve in around 7 to 10 days however in some patients they may persist up to 14 days. So it's generally said like around in two weeks, these ulcers basically resolve now. At times, as you can also appreciate in this clinical pictures, sometimes these herpetic lesion can also affect the lips as well as the face. So this is the most classical features which you can appreciate in a patient who is suffering from acute herpetic gingival stomatitis. Now, as we've talked before, HSV1 is basically the virus which is actually causing acute herpetic gingivostomatitis and these diffuse 
thrusting ulcers of vesicles are present on the lips sometimes oropharynx of the child most typically it affects this population but it can also affect the older population as well but those cases are quite rare now along with the local symptoms that we've just discussed certain systematic conditions or you can say systematic features are also appreciated in some severe cases for example patients can develop like fever cervical lymphadenitis inflammation of the cervical lymph nodes and malaise as well so if in some severe cases systematic signs can also be appreciated in such cases now here is a clinical presentation of a patient who is suffering from acute herpetic gingivostomatitis you can appreciate if there are these vesicles around the lips inner surface of the lips you can also appreciate an enlarged vesicles which are present around the gingiva you can see inflamed and enlarged gingiva is also present over here you can see also around the buccal surface there are some ulcers present so this is the most classical appearance of acute herpetic gingivostomatitis in the second picture you can appreciate that the vesicles ulcers are more predominantly present on the chin area of the patient as well so as we've talked before along with the oral lesions these vesicles can also occur on the face and lips as well which you can clearly appreciate in this clinical picture now let's talk about so differential diagnosis as to what condition actually might represent quite similar to acute herpetic gingivostomatitis firstly it's necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis slash periodontitis these condition also mimic a little bit to acute herpetic gingivostomatitis other than that we have erythema multiform and after stomatitis these also resemble these condition and lastly steven johnson syndrome so these are three differential diagnoses which you should keep in mind when you're trying to identify whether the patient is actually suffering from acute herpetic gingivostomatitis or not now lastly let's talk about how do we actually treat patients who are suffering from acute herpetic gingivostomatitis now the primary aim of the treatment is basically palliative because this viral infection in most of the cases is basically resolved on its own however we provide some medication or treatment to the patient so that their discomfort is alleviated to some extent now we make sure that the patient is comfortable and they are relaxed throughout the course of treatment because these ulcers makes the patient quite discomfortable because it interferes with their eating and drinking habits so the inflamed gingiva which we appreciated in the previous pictures it has some plaque and calculus accumulated so in that cases we can perform supra gingival scaling so that the inflammation around the gingiva can be reduced and it helps the patient to recover from the condition sooner now other than that what we can do is that we can go for periodontal therapies later on so that the acute symptoms which are present right now they subside periodontal extensive procedures can be performed later on so we do not perform such treatments in the acute stage of the patient other than that what we can do is that we can perform certain mouthwashes anesthetic mouthwashes which we can prescribe to the patient which actually helps the patient treat them symptomatically and helps them to eat properly or you can say better as compared to their acute symptoms stage however there are some recent studies which have suggested that prescription of acyclovir is actually useful and it can actually reduce the signs and symptoms of the patient and help them recover faster so this is one drug which can be prescribed to such patients other than that what we can do is that we can provide nutritional support for the patient and sometimes systematic antibiotic therapy can also help in treating the systematic signs and symptoms now if we do not treat this condition timely it can lead to certain complications such as hse encephalitis herpetic keratitis and herpes labialis so in this video we talked about everything that you need to know for acute herpetic gingivostomatitis starting from what actually it is when you talk about its etiology clinical features differential diagnosis clinical presentation of this condition and lastly we talked about the treatment so i hope this video was useful for you and if you like this video please like share subscribe and press the bell icon thank you for watching this video see you next time